this guide gives you a couple of hints and tips on how to uh, clean up your iPad to hopefully make it run a little bit better. So first of all, um, I would say delete any apps that uh, you don't want on the iPad. Now there are some apps that you can't delete, some apps which um, are, are supplied with the iPad and you simply can't delete them. But um, any apps you want to delete, basically just hold your finger down on the first app that you want to delete. So let's hold my finger down over this, this app here. Keep it held down until you see crosses appear and the icon start shaking, then remove your finger. Okay, if you want to delete any of the, the apps that are now shaking and that have got crosses beside them, just tap on the cross to the left of the top hand corner of the, uh, the app. Just tap that and it says, do you want to delete it? Deleting this will also delete its data. So we tap delete. Now I'm not going to do this on here, but once you've done that, the, the app will disappear. Now you might notice there are some apps in particular, things like contacts, uh, messages, camera, photo booths, app store, and various others that you can't actually remove because they come supplied with the uh, with the iPad. There's not much you can do about that. Okay, so once you've deleted all the apps you want to delete, just push the button on the front of the iPad here to stop them shaking and it gets rid of the crosses. Okay, the next thing you might want to do is to uh, close down any running apps on your iPad. Um, so all you do is you just tap twice in quick succession on the button on the front of the iPad, just as if it was like a, a left cl double click on a mouse. So like that and that opens up what they sort of like a task manager I suppose for the iPad so it shows you things that are running in the background so what I tend to do is I tend to go through these and uh, just swipe upwards on the things you want to close now you can close absolutely everything don't worry it won't delete anything it will just close it down in the in the background so oh sometimes you might do this if you if you linger on uh, something uh, a bit too long your finger lingers on it, it it opens up the app so if that happens just double tap again so double tap the button there and swipe away now this one here the menu you can't actually swipe away Everything else you can, but uh, this you can't. So once you've closed everything down, push the button on the front once, and that brings you back to the main menu. Now, another thing you can try, very, very simple, is to power off the iPad um, fully. Um, so you hold your finger down on the button in the top right-hand corner, keep it held down until it comes up with slide to power off and you then swipe your finger across to power off leave this for a couple of minutes and uh, after a couple of minutes um, we can turn it back on so uh, like I say it may not turn on straight away um, so just leave it for a few minutes and uh, it will, uh, we'll try turning it back on it may take some time to come back on and to turn it back on all we do is we just hold our finger down on the button in the top right hand corner of the iPad and keep it held down until we see the Apple sign and then let go. Now it will take a while to uh, to boot up so uh, you just have to bear with it for a while it might take a, uh, anywhere from 30 seconds upwards to boot up but um, it will, it will uh, seem like it's taken an eternity. I'm just going to pause this video until it's booted up and we'll come back to it. Okay, so it's now asking me to enter my passcode. I'm just going to enter that. I'm just going to pause the video while I enter that. And there we go, the menu's back. The first time you've entered in your passcode, it may take longer to go to the menu, but that's fine. Other things you can try doing is, um, and another thing, um, is to hold down the power button um, there and the button at the front at exactly the same time. So push these two together and keep them held down until the screen goes black. Now ignore the slide to power off, the screen will go black in a sec and once we see the Apple logo, let go of the two buttons. And again, that will um, force the iPad to, uh, to, to, to power off and power back on again and sometimes that can clear out 
got some memory. So again, I'm just going to uh, pause the video because it's going to take a little while for this to uh, to start up. So I'm just going to pause that and we'll come back to it once the iPad has started again. Okay, so it's asking me to enter my passcode in. I'm just going to pause the video again while I enter my passcode. And again, it may take a little while before it goes to the menu after typing in your passcode. And there we go. Um, other things you can, can try um, are we can tap settings, uh, scroll down to Safari and tap Safari and then again scroll down to clear history and website data, tap that and then we can click clear on that and that again might help speed things up. Well, I hope this guide helps and I uh, hope it speeds up your iPad. Thanks for watching.